The first step is to find the average horizontal angle between the two points in reference. Keeping in mind, you may have to add multiples of 360 degrees to account for the instrument resetting to zero after it has accumulated 360 degrees of horizontal angle turning. Next, find the average vertical or zenith angle for each point, A and C. Third, find the average difference in stadia readings for each point, A and C. Using the average values found in steps 2 and 3 for the vertical angle and stadia reading difference, proceed to determine the horizontal distance to each point as well as the differential elevations. Step 6 is to find the sum of all the angles of your closed polygonal traverse, followed by step 7, finding what the theoretical value should be using the geometric formula n minus 2 times 180. Eighth, subtract the difference between steps 6 and 7 to find the misclosure. Step 9, allocate the misclosure found in step 8 to each of the n angles on your polygonal traverse. Allocate this misclosure proportionately. Smaller angles receive less correction than larger angles. And finally, ensure that your adjusted polygonal traverse angles sum to the correct number. Now it's time to see how well your team did in completing the traverse. Take the misclosure found in step 8 of x degrees, y minutes, and z seconds, and fill in the equation to find the k value for the U.S. Federal Geodetic Control Subcommittee specifications. Using the k-value found in step 11, label your survey according to the FGCS survey classifications. Your traverse and calculations are now complete. Congratulations! Thanks again for watching. This has been the University of Kansas CE240 video tutorial series on how to use a digital piano light.